Hey, fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. I got this image sent to me. Also saw it on the Functional Tennis Instagram page. Got a lot of questions, so I wanted to dive into it a little bit briefly here on this Friday. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll try to make it quick. So if you look at this sheet from Dallas Open, we have the player, the racket, the strings, the tension. is this kind of lovely handwriting on a whiteboard that we've seen before. The thing that I commented all on the Functional Tennis Instagram account was that the tensions are dropping on average. And you can really tell here. I would say that there's only one player who's playing with like what would be a standard tension some years back. Maybe two. Uh, and that would be uh, Hijikata with this E-Zone. Using a combo with Politor Strike and Politor Spin. These type of hybrids are becoming more and more popular. We have Kasparud, Politor Pro, Politor Spin. Osaka is also now playing Politor Strike, Politor Spin. And um, Ben Shelton, last time I checked. And as you can see here, Ben Shelton using Strike and Pro as well. 54-57. So those two guys using the, the softer Politor Pro in a combination with Strike are using a little bit higher tensions but it's not really high by conventional standards. We do have players like Yannick Sinner using like 60 pounds or 62 pounds sometimes. Uh, but overall, as you can see here, tensions are going down. This is not like a slow clay court tournament either. So uh, conditions cannot really be explained here. Can it be the tennis balls? I mean, there's been so many complaints about balls, like the balls are in wrecking havoc on arms and um, they inconsistent, like some balls are super heavy, some balls are lighter and flies, and uh, we've had a lot of complaints from the players about balls, mainly that they are uh, rock hard and heavy for the arm, and I think that's why we're seeing tension go down over uh, all. But we can have a quick look and understand what's happening. We're also seeing, like, uh, with uh, Tommy Paul here, a lot of hybrids uh, with gut, so all rough here and gut in the crosses. In his case, uh, I talked briefly in uh, a video about the Australian Open and uh, the This Week in Tennis about Daniel Medvedev and uh, he's now using also gut but in the mains on his uh, Technifiber racket. So uh, we're definitely seeing uh, changes there. We also have uh, Bublik, for example, using the same setup as uh, Medvedev, as far as I know. Uh, so you can see here you have Manarino, the outlier. We've talked enough about him. Uh, I think he's uh, become quite famous now because he's a top 20 player as well. So he's really showing that you can play this type of game uh, with this type of, of uh, equipment uh, using the, his arrow and all the power at 9.5 kilo. That's the lowest tension I've ever seen. I know there's been low tensions before, but that's a pretty, pretty low tension, uh, which you can almost hand pull uh, as a stringer. Uh, then we have Eubanks. Razor Soft is becoming a more and more popular string. 49 pounds for a pro. Uh, is still semi-low, but at least, you know, this is kind of the highest you're seeing these days, like 50, around 51 pounds. Then, obviously, you're going to have players using hybrid, gut hybrids that are, are maybe stringing a little bit higher. But even, like, Thompson here with a pure drive, I mean, that's a pretty powerful racket using gut all the power at 51 pounds. So you're definitely seeing a complete difference in how players use their strings. Uh, very interesting, I find it to be, because uh, we haven't seen this before. Um, Kupfer, I mean, he's using a prestige, like a very low-powered racket. So to see Lynx Tor, which is a stiff string at 45 pounds, is not crazy. But you wouldn't have seen that uh, going back 10, 15 years, maybe. More standard tension, Albot with the all-power 23-22. Or uh, Atmane with the 23-22, same with the Razor Soft. The Razor Soft is becoming very, very popular. A uh, bit surprised to see Tyra Daniel use a Tolson string in the mains. You don't see those a lot. But it was also gut and a gut hybrid with 44 and 46 pounds in a pure drive. I want to just make a note here that these pros are very good at, obviously, everything in tennis pretty much. Well, they are good at timing the ball. They're good at adding spin to the balls to get control from in that way. And it's not going to always work for rec players. But if you can... Uh, go down in tension to save your arm a little bit of strain, I think it's the way to go. So you can experiment, go me maybe, you know, one, two kilos down at a time, see how it plays for you. Consider a gut hybrid or a multi-filament hybrid to, to save some money maybe. Uh, and that's that's a way to go. That's a way to approach it. Uh, but these guys are obviously extremely good at timing the ball, but also they're getting very heavy balls back. So yeah, I'm really impressed by by how they can control the the balls here with uh, with these types of rackets and these types of tension. But it's it's a more of a spin game today, more about really getting action on the ball, and this seems to help for them. 
We have Steve Johnson back in action. Also a gut hybrid, gut 46 pounds, uh, Torbite 44. Um, makes me want to go and string uh, my ESO now and then put like a really low tension on it. And I, I probably won't be able to control it, but I'm going to try. I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely not for like my game, I feel like sometimes, but but maybe I should be more open-minded when it comes to my own tennis. Uh, but yeah, Politor Pro, pretty soft string. Then it's Kudla using it at 47 pounds. Uh, Lestien, also Razor Soft, not super stiff, 20.8. So we're seeing this. The only tension we're not seeing here is uh, Alex Mickelson. Uh, what he's using RPM Blast in his arrow, we don't know. Maybe someone can, can um, fill us in there. But overall... Uh, some standard ones, maybe Big Bang Original 23 kilos and Hawk uh, 23 kilos. Those tensions make sense and are not really uh, any shock to anyone. But the, all these gut hybrids, like also Tennis Sandgren, Gut Explosive Tour 50 pounds, are very surprising to me and uh, a sign that you know they're either defending their arms, they're learning how to to use the string more, they're looking for more comfort, they're looking for more power. Uh, overall, I think the players are a lot more in tune with their equipment. They Many of them now know, okay, the equipment makes a difference. I can or at least get some help from someone who knows stringers, coach, uh, whatever, to, to maximize the equipment. Like, can I get more on my shots with a lower tension, with a different string, with a more powerful racket in some cases? So we're definitely seeing that, that everybody's trying to tweak a bit more and they are more open to changes. And I think that is the biggest trend. But overall, uh, I could pick up a tension sheet from 10 years back and it would look very different. Maybe an inspiration to try something a little bit lower in your racket and see how it plays. I'm not saying it's for everyone. Like I struggle personally. I do tend to go 55, 53, depending if it's a power racket, maybe down to 51. High tensions on poly strings is one of those things that are even worse than actually a stiff racket. Like you really get a stiff string that if you have a like a stiff string hyper g or a lynx tour or whatever and you have it have it at like 55 pounds that's gonna be be a lot for the arm to to deal with so on, on all levels so uh, makes sense but it's interesting to see how it's continuously dropping as and as more and more players are talking in the locker rooms or seeing these kind of tension sheets i think they start to be questioning a bit themselves like what should i go should i go down a bit in tension should i try something new and uh, what can it bring to my game let's experiment maybe off season maybe if i have a training week or i'm a little bit injured or whatever i can try a few tweaks to my equipment and see what it does to my game when i'm on tour that's it for this one i hope you enjoyed it have a nice day check out tennisnerd.net for daily posts and more stuff to come please subscribe to the youtube channel and don't forget to play some tennis